sometimes I just think to myself, we as women have been seriously lied to by society. Seriously lied to. You got that right. Like we're told all these things growing up. Be successful, be smart, be independent, be beautiful, be feminine, be all of these things. And then when you become all of those things and you're ready to find a life partner or you're marriage minded, you look around and the dating pool is teeny tiny. <laughs> because we as women like to date up. We usually want someone, we're actually wired this way. We want someone who's our socioeconomic equal or higher. And the men who are equal or higher have a million gazillion options. And guess what? They're in absolutely no effing rush, no rush at all to settle down because they don't have a biological clock. I'm out here living my best life. And actually a lot of them are afraid of marriage because 70% of divorce is initiated by women. And so it's like handing a chick a loaded gun and hoping that she doesn't pull the trigger and leave with half your wealth and your kids. And so a lot of them are just like not interested in that. And where does that leave women who are marriage minded? You know where it leaves a lot of them? Single and confused or feeling like they are forced to date down or settle. And yeah, I just think it's kind of a, a sucky situation. And you know, fortunately there are ways to go around this. A lot of my clients have been able to find love who are alpha females. Um, but it requires like unlearning a lot of the things that society has taught us. And uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I right? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you feel this? Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Don't tell the feminists, but I would rather stay home and cook and clean. I would rather do it. When I tell you I love to cook and clean, just, just don't tell the feminists. I love to do it and I love to do it for a man. I do. However, not outside of marriage. Absolutely not. That sounds like hell. But just to see the look on a man's face when you cook him a meal that is so good, you could just tell he's proud. There's just something, I don't know, there's something within me as a woman. Maybe it's almost turning 25 that got me thinking, like, this cooking and cleaning thing isn't bad. Like, I just don't understand why women wanted to work. What was, what was the what was the point? Like, there is nothing satisfying about working. A man that takes care of you, a man that provides for you, you don't have to worry about anything, no bills. I will cook and clean all day. Like, what is the complaint? I'm making some fire food tonight. I'm going to serve it, and I'm just enjoying it. Yes, I'm crying over some onions, but is this what we fought for as women? I don't know. I'd rather cry over some onions than cry about a job. That's for sure. Don't fall for it. So here's a question that I get asked on a daily basis is why are you single? Kind of implying that there is something wrong with me. I think, right? There may be something wrong. Maybe her hairdresser needs to be fired. I choose to be single. I choose to put my own my own self first, my own value, etc. And I think I speak for many people like myself who are in their kind of more mature years. Um, I'm 53 this year, so I, I just don't want any drama. No drama, no BS, just I want to find a kind of soulful connection with somebody. And if I don't find it, I'm quite happy to be on my own. But it's the question you keep getting asked is, why are you single? Anybody else can relate to that because, yeah. <laughs> it's your hair. 